Yo, how's it going everybody? It's your boy Blu-ray Dave back with another Steelbook unboxing for you guys and I'm ex super excited to review this one to you guys. Oh yeah, I finally got one of them. Star Wars The Mandalorian, the complete first season on Blu-ray. Yep, the official Steelbook. Um, luckily I went to like another um, Walmart, right? I was need to pick up a few things, but when I saw both of these, uh, both of the seasons on the shelves and they were like... Three left each, and I'm like, you know what? I know I have to get the first season first. Like, I know I've always preached about, like, oh, I want to get them both at the same time. I technically still am, guys. Stay tuned for next week. I highly doubt I'll get it Wednesday, hopefully earlier. I will be getting the second season, so don't worry. Um, that's still, um, I was going to say on the books, but, like, no, that's something you've done, and it's already on the books. So, it's it's still in the pipeline, guys. Okay. Um, it was $40. Um, yeah, I thought the average steelbook of these was like 35 and then the 4Ks were like 40 unless if Walmart raised their prices. Like, as of late, guys, well, this was a while back, like, uh, Disney had like a discount on these and th this wasn't looking very good. Like, honestly, like, you, you want to pay full price to show Disney, like, you actually care and I'm I'm excited about the newest steel books that has been just released or not released announced uh, this week. Um, Falcon the Winter Soldier, Moon Knight, Obi Wan Kenobi, and Andor the first season. Like oh man, I I'm pretty much convinced that all those will come out on the same day next month. Yep, that's oh man, we're Disney plusing it out here today, guys, aren't we? Um. So yeah, I believe this is my seventh still book, but it, it is looking really nice. And just like with Loki season one, you got that one right there, and there's the back. Cool thing about this steel book is, um, it actually connects. Like it, it continues the uh, the painting here. Like I I do believe this is the concept art of Mando, and this is just like a reel from from the series. So like yeah. So here we go. Of course, since this is the Blu-ray release, you're gonna get different, like a different color and different styles. So here you got Mando ship, and you got like a, a chicken walker right here. So I believe when you get the 4K set, the discs are green. So here we have disc one, episodes one through four. Oh man. I don't know why they make it so hard for, like, the discs to come out of the steelbook, right? Alright, disc 2, episodes 5 through 8. Um, I really don't understand why uh, Lucasfilm didn't decide to release all of the seasons at the same time, because season 3 ha happened last year. Like, I know it was a bad season, but hey, we all still want to get it, right? So there's that artwork. And here's some concept art cards that you get. I love how Disney Plus is doing this. I feel like Disney, with you know specifically Lucasfilm, Marvel Studios, I feel like they they have to do it in waves of four and like release two of each, like you know two Star Wars and two Marvel. But I'm sure they're gonna release like other Disney Plus originals on physical as well. Like yeah. Even when the credits rolled for this show, like, this is my dad's favorite show, by the way. He loves uh, the concept art. Like, yeah, it is just so cool. Like, how can you not love the concept art, right? Like, geez. This show has been in the works so many times, guys. Like, scrapped scripts or whatever, scrapped ideas. Like, geez. Of course, we can't complete this review without um, having this. So, of course, you do get this little pamphlet here. I'm happy to see that it shows uh, TV 14. They got the 23 uh, Blu-ray release. And I can't wait for the uh, extras. I'm pretty sure... Uh, what, don't we have the, uh, the, the, the gallery from Disney Plus? I don't know. Um, yeah. Um, I know I've talked about my experience with Disney Plus before, but I want to talk about it again specifically with, with this first season, right? So... Um, Disney Plus came out November 12th, 2019, right? And I remember downloading it the night it came out, but, like, the next day, like, uh, it was still the 12th, um, 
got my subscription for it. And like I said, this was literally the first thing I watched. Like I was just so, I was just so genuinely impressed with, with, with the show. Like, like with the first episode, like I knew we were going on the right path with this. Um, Oh man, like Disney Plus took off. Like the, honestly, this show is the reason why we have Disney Plus. Really, like the, this this show again took a long time to make because over the years, even George Lucas himself has you know, attempted to get out a live action Star Wars show, and the very first one could still happen. Uh, Underworlds, like the one that he tried to create, maybe that's something Disney could revive. Um, I don't know. We'll see. Like hopefully, um. And I agree with everyone on this season. This season is mid, but you know what? It's good, you know? Uh, season 2 got better, and then, of course, we all know how 3 ended. Like, um, I'm happy to hear that the uh, the Mando movie is already, like... I don't know if they are in production right now, but, like, that film won't come out for another two years, I believe. Right, guys? So, yeah. like And, and like I said, I'm happy that I show my dad um the show and every time like i would show him like a trailer or when i tell him some something like, about mandalorian like oh it's coming out uh on this date and then some and he would ask me like um is there more mandalorian like uh the fact that he heard from me that i told him that there's um a mando movie in the works like I know that's a Star Wars movie he's going to want to see for sure because, well, we don't know if it's just Mando because it's literally like the Mandoverse. Like, um, bes besides bring Mando, you got Boba Fett, you got uh, Ahsoka Tano, uh, the freaking Skeleton Crew. Like, uh, I don't know how that show is going to turn out, but we'll see. So, yeah, I'm excited for that. So, yeah, and I I'm also excited to get season two for sure. Like, uh, like, Honestly, like, I've binge-watched this show, um, I don't know, probably more times out of the other live-action shows, like, uh, nothing against them, like, I would binge-watch them again, now that Andor Season 1 is coming out on Blu-ray, and, like, again, Kenobi coming out on Blu-ray, like, I would definitely want to get those for sure. Um, if you haven't checked out my previous Disney Plus unboxings, please go check those out. And if you remember, I have the bootleg DVDs for these. I am still going to keep this for, like, for history's sake, just because, like, if people want to know, like, oh, like, were there bootlegs of this? Like, yeah, like, Disney finally listened to us, the fans. And, guys, if you genuinely care about physical media, then buy these releases, okay? They're still out. And I would suggest getting them on their steelbook forms now because... Uh, Disney did say that they, they will re-release these again, but it's like the regular Blu-ray cases, so, unless if you guys prefer it that way, but still, like, I, I, I just, I just recommend getting their steelbook forms first, um, and yeah, I can't wait for the next wave of, of the, uh, Disney Plus shows for sure. Alright, um, again, thanks so much for watching, guys, um, please make sure to, <laughs> like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. Please send the post notification button to my content if you haven't already. And uh, tell me in the comments, are you excited for the next Blu-ray unboxing coming up? Because, yeah, I'm, I'm excited for that one. Like, um, I don't know why it's taking so long to get it here because I, I just ordered it today. But, like, yeah. And, you know, technically, I could have bought both of the seasons at the same time. But just, like... Let's just start little by little. Like, as much as I try to go with this little plan I had, like, yeah. Anyways, again, thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for having me. The Lord be with you guys. Always love you guys. Peace out, guys. Uh, yes, may the Force be with you always. And remember, this is the way. All right. Good night, guys.